Hallelujah. Welcome to the Protocol Breaking Prayer Altar. Welcome to those of you on Facebook, those who are viewing me on YouTube. Everybody is welcome. I'm glad to have you this morning and I'm glad that you have given me the privilege to be in your house this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We welcome you. Father, we give you praise, honor, and adoration. I thank you for every single person that is represented here this morning. Father God, may they be divinely settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I thank you for Free State. I thank you for Pretoria, for Zimbabwe. I thank you for Great Search from Gauteng. Come on, Search. You're going to have to be more specific than that. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Good morning, Nwasha Constance, everybody. Polokwane, Zimbabwe, Kenya, I see you. Um, Australia, I see you. Good morning, good morning, Nell Sprite, Uganda. You are welcome, you are welcome. I hope you are fired up. You are ready to share the live broadcast with everybody that is your friend, your family member members, your frenemies, anybody who doesn't like you, everybody who does like you, everybody on TikTok needs to come on and we are going to listen to the word of God this morning. We're going to be praying together. Hallelujah. This is a fired up Friday. Remember today is our fasting Friday as we transition to our midnight tonight. Don't miss it. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to download uh, serious wonders for us today, my God, starting right from this morning session. Amen. Somebody, talk to me, somebody. I need you to type in the comment section. It is settled. Can somebody type in the comment section? It is settled. Hallelujah. It is settled. Hallelujah. Is somebody ready to be settled by God this morning? If you are in the comment section and you say, that's me, let me see you typing. It is settled. Let me see you typing. It is settled. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We are going to be settled this morning. This is what the Holy Spirit has said. This is what he will do. He is not a man that he should lie in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is going to settle it. One word is going to come through for you this morning. And that one word is going to settle your issue in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The rest will be for us to war and make sure the enemy does not steal the word from us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it is settled. Come on, somebody. Let somebody know who's just coming in that we are talking about settling certain issues in the spirit realm. As we settle them in the spirit realm, we are settle them in the physical realm. Hallelujah. We're going to uh, walk through the scriptures together. We're going to see what the Lord is saying this morning. Hallelujah. I want you to know that there's one word that you need. Tell your neighbor one word. I'm just here for one word. I'm just here for, thy, for my settlement word. In in Jesus mighty name one word that settles it one word God is there anybody who wants a word of settlement this morning oh my God it's not in the pitch of the word, but it's in that one word, that one word that somebody has been prophetically waiting for. It is in that one word that will settle your issue in Jesus mighty name. I don't have to be even loud about it. It is in that one word. Hallelujah. I'm not interested in the history of whatever it is that I've been going through my Jesus. I'm only interested in the one word, one word that will treat that history that I did not like, one word that erases that life that I do not like, one word that will settle the issue that this is not my life, this is not my child, this is not how I planned it, this is not how I planned it, this is not the blueprint from God. Come on, somebody, somebody who needs a word says it is settled. If you need a word from God this morning, I need to see you type it is settled. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not looking for long treatment plans. I'm not looking for medication that's going to treat me for a long time. I just need one word. I need to see people who are saying, Pastor Fortune, I just need one word. I showed up this morning. I'm ready to be charged up. I just need one word to reinforce what I'm believing God for. One word. Karaba shota kadia satakadia. One word is what you need uh, that is spoken under the unction, under the anointing that is on this altar. One word, that's all you need. And one word is what you need and that will settle the issue. And when that one word is sent out from the Holy Spirit, God will honor it. How many know that God honors his word? God does not joke with his word. God will honor his word. Hallelujah. My God. Let me read for you the scripture so you understand the context and I will give you our fire scripture for today. He said in 2 Kings chapter 4 verse 16 to 17 and he said about this season. I'm reading from the King James Version. I'm going to give you two versions so that one way or the other it will sink in. And about this season, about this time, about today, the 30th of June. 
at 5 a.m. South African Standard Time. According to the time of life, you will embrace the sun. What the Spirit of the Lord is saying that you will embrace your dream about this season, about this time. And he said, no, my Lord, you are a man of God. Do not lie to your handmaid. The lady said to the prophet, he says, don't lie to me, prophet. Some of you are looking at me and saying, oh my God, what does she want to lie about? I'm not going to lie about anything. I'm just going to give you the truth of the word of God. Hallelujah. Because the woman did not believe prophet Elijah at the time. And the woman conceived and bore a son at the season and the timing that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life. The word that the prophet had brought came to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rise this morning to tell you that that one, one word that you have been believing God for, God has come this morning into your living room, into your vehicle, into your workplace to tell you that he's going to settle it. He's going to honor it. And if you run with that one word about this time, about this season, about this time, there shall be fulfillment of what God has promised you. Hallelujah, somebody. And CEV translation says, Elisha said to her next year at this time, you'll be holding your own baby in your own arms. Talk to me, somebody. Somebody who's believing God for the fruit of the womb. You need to understand that about this time, in nine months time, come on, somebody. Somebody is going to be holding their son. Somebody who's believing God for a breakthrough in their business is going to be holding their business and going to be seeing the fruits and the results and the dividends and the investment returns that you have never seen before. Because fruitfulness is abounding this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Your dreams shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your destiny shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will settle you maritally in the name of Jesus Christ about this time, next time, this year. Oh my God. I know some of you are saying, uh, Pastor Fortune, next year is too far. You, you need to expedite your own time. And you understand that, God, I'm asking for a seasonal change right now. As I switch into July, some of you are starting your new jobs. I know for a fact that we are starting new jobs in the month of July. <laughs> Today is the last day of the month, yeah? Or is it tomorrow? Some people are going to get some letters today. Hallelujah. You are going to be holding your own baby. Your own dream is coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. And the woman was doubtful. And he says, don't lie to me, prophet of God. But a few months later, the Bible says that it happened exactly as the prophet said. So this morning, I want to encourage somebody in the comment section, in the platforms, wherever we are broadcasting from, that it is settled. I want you to announce to your neighbor, it is settled. My word has come. One word is what I came here for. And one word is what I'm taking in this action, in this covering, in the oil that is covering this altar right now in Jesus' mighty name. That statement that was made by Elisha was pregnant with meanings that we are going to dissect today and as we are dissecting this word we are going to pray about it and that prayer is going to take root in our life that word is going to take root and it's going to mushroom and it's going to be bearing fruit in the next in the in jesus mighty name next year at this time you will be not not be where you are next year at this time you will be far advanced next year at this time you will be having testimonies people will be wondering what happened next year at this time for some people your next year is actually now because after this meeting they will not understand the transformation that would have happened in your life. Talk to me, somebody. You can have anything that, 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 that you want to be resolved. I need to read another scripture before I can continue. Oh, listen to this fire scripture. My God, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. Are we together? Somebody who's coming in now late does not know what we are talking about. I need somebody who's going to tell them that it is settled. Somebody type in the comment section that it is settled. God bless those who are gifting. Amen, somebody. When you have found your, pre, your, 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 your space on, on, on 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, it says, but, mm, somebody type the word but. When you see the word but in scripture, it interrupts anything that might have happened in your life before. Come on Facebook, type the word but. Anything that you have been suffering about before, before you woke up this morning, anything that was a concern, that was a worry in your life, before you showed up this morning, I want to tell you but. I want you to type that but so that you can interrupt whatever you did not like. Whatever way you were feeling, whether it was a disease, an affliction, or infirmity, whatever it is, there is an interruption that has come into play, and that is the word but. 
but it says, but there is somebody that you came to meet this morning, but there is somebody who's able to give you the answer you need this morning, but there is somebody who is able to settle your issue this morning, and that one person is the God of all grace. My God, he's the God that controls the unmerited favor. He's the God that, um, that gives you the favor that you, you need. My God, the God of all grace who has called us into eternal glory in Christ Jesus. He called me and you. That is why we got born again. That, that is why we signed up. We enlisted for this thing because we have been called to an eternal glory, not an eternal life of suffering and poverty and, and curses. That is why he's calling. He says, but I'm still the God of all grace. I'm able to interrupt anything that you are going through and settle whatever it is that you came for settlement for. Somebody's about to receive a double reward. Somebody's about to receive a double portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God settled my matter this morning. But somebody declaring, God settled my matter. Somebody, what are you asking for? God settled my matter. Talk to me. I told you how to provoke the anointing. Hallelujah. What do you want the Lord to say to you this morning? That one word that will change your life. Talk to me. He says he has called you unto eternal glory into Christ Jesus. After that, you have suffered a while. He knows that you have suffered a while and make you perfect. He says, I rose this morning. I came to hear the cries of the saints on this platform of protocol breaking prayers that are saying, I rose to establish them. I rose to perfect them. I rose to give them strength. And I rose to what? Settle you. Jesus. Run with the scripture. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. And I'm going to read it slowly this time. He says, I'm the God, but I am the God of all grace. I called you according to the eternal glory in Christ Jesus. After you have suffered a while, my God. I will make you perfect and I will establish you. That means nobody can move you and I will strengthen you. And he signs it off and he says, I will settle you. Somebody type in that comment section and say, Lord, settle me. Settle me this morning. Hallelujah. You need to understand that to be settled is to be compensated. You are going to be compensated this morning. In the book of Joshua, the Israelites were compensated and settled. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying this morning, he's going to compensate you and he's going to settle you. Hallelujah. They were settled with lands that they did not labor for. So you, some of you are going to be settled. Somebody's just going to dash your land. He's going to say, no, you can take it. I know some of you are just used to be given clothes and everything else. But yes, it is possible for somebody to just hand over the property. So some of you, I hear the spirit of the Lord say that there has been sibling rivalry where you have been fighting for the family house. And the Lord is saying, I'm coming in to settle that issue. And they're going to hand over the keys to you. My God, you may not be the firstborn, but I hear the spirit of the Lord is saying the keys are coming to you. Oh my God, I'm trying to preserve my strength for tonight. But I see that the Holy Spirit may want me somewhere else. The Lord is going to settle you. When you check with me on the book of Joshua. It says that the Israelites were compensated. They were settled with lands that did, they did not labor for Facebook. And they did not build some of the houses that they were settling in. They dwelled in the vineyards and in the olive yards which they, they did not plant. And they ate of them. That's Joshua 24, 13. God bless those who are gifting. Today, you have people who are living on a minimum wage and you're wondering how they're making. Do you not see that there's a God that settles? Somebody is living on a minimum wage. Your salary is not even enough to last until the end of the month. There's too many days and not too many salary divisions. Karaba, shoto kodi asata. Some people who are living on a minimum wage have so limited themselves to it. They're saying, I don't have. But I want to wake up somebody this morning and tell you that you serve an unlimited God. You don't know how you have done it. You serve an unlimited God. I have seen people who are domestic workers who have built mansions. Talk to me, yes? And those who are even earning quadruple ten times, they can't even pay for their car loans. Do you understand that they... Is something spiritual about this issue that unlocks an unlimited God who settles people. So I'm looking for the minimum wage people. 
I'm looking for the ones who are saying, Pastor, I don't even have a wages to start. God bless you, Sophie. I'm looking for people this morning who are saying, Pastor, I don't even have wages. I just want wages. If I can just get a letter that gives me wages between today and tomorrow. Those are the people that I want who are hungry. I want people who are saying, I've, I've gone around this mountain too long, earning the same salary. The increase is not even keeping up with inflation. My God, I'm looking for a breakthrough. I'm looking for a word that will settle my promotion, a word that will settle my increase. My God. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, Zodwa, you are going to be given the keys. You have been fighting with your siblings. And they have their houses, but they are so intent on just scattering the family. That was your word. Mm. Elisha declared the counsel of the Lord in the midst of a famine, but a man who was an advisor to the king doubted it. And when you doubt the word of God, you don't benefit from it. Talk to me, somebody. And I check the scriptures. I find there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate of Samaria. They arose and decided to go into the camp of the host of the Syrians because there was a famine. They had determined that they were not going to be hungry. They determined, they said, if we stay on this position, we die. Then we better charge forth and go and get our food in there. God bless you, Sophie. In Jesus' mighty name, my God. I will not rest in the famine. Lord, I'm looking for one word. Settle me with that one word. One word. Somebody say one word. Settle me, Lee, Jesus. Settle me with that one word, Lord. My God. I need one word. It is settled. Hallelujah. They had no surety that they were going to come back safe. But they, 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 they decided that they're going to charge through. And when they got there, they took all the spoils and the food. They found that the Syrian camp had been abandoned. Their soldiers were gone. The lepers were settled. So if God can settle the lepers, the four lepers, God is in the business of settling you this morning. Somebody say, settle me, Jesus. Settle me, Lord. My God, you need to understand that to be settled is to receive power, to empty the camp, the camp of the enemy. Say, I will receive power. I will empty the camp, the camp of the enemy. To be settled, it means that there's a, wealth, there's a wealth exchange that is happening. Wealth must change hands this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, when you are being settled, that one word you are waiting for, it is the word that you're going to receive beyond your imagination. Whatever you're expecting God to settle you with, he's going to double it more, more than what you can imagine in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to spoil your oppressors by God's power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I hear it well. Somebody is going to be in for a surprise from God. Somebody say, shout it out loud and say, Surprise me, Lord. Surprise me, Lord. My God, I've been waiting. I've been believing God for a miracle. Hallelujah. God is saying, ah, you are going to recover what the enemy has stolen. Talk to me, somebody. Today is your day of settlement. Announce to your neighbor in case that neighbor does not like you and does not want to announce to you. Get another neighbor. In fact, if you don't want to touch that neighbor, you don't have to touch your neighbor. Touch yourself and tell yourself, today is my day of settlement in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God. I prophesy every famine in your life is going to disappear this morning. Surprise me, Lord. Surprise me, Lord. Surprise me, Lord. Every famine in my area, in my life, in my business, in my family's life, let it disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. He says, for your sake, I will fight this battle for you. For your sake, I will fight this battle for you. And I'm going to give you divine settlement in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the redemptive power which never fails in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. We received your mandate this morning. I have come to execute your mandate, oh God, to help them to recover all in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that you have lost, you will recover. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come with the mandate of the Holy Spirit to tell you that your lost opportunities shall be recovered from the taskmasters in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my Father, I declare and I decree to everybody at the sound of my voice, uh, right now, Lord, they are being settled this morning in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, despite whatever jurisdiction they may be in, my God. Uh, if it is in their ninth season, my God, uh, settle them in this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, uh, may the settlement word uh, locate them this morning 
healing in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I speak to every stubborn Pharaoh that is refusing for their settlement. I declare and I decree that that Pharaoh will have to settle them and lose them and that, se that settlement will be guaranteed and that settlement will be executed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I ask for the anointing of divine settlement to fall upon everybody who's at the sound of my voice this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By this time next year, let them have a different testimony by this time next year. Every hidden problem that is not visible to you, that is eating away at your pizza. My God, I want somebody to shout, settle me now, Jesus. When you have divine settlement, when God settles you, you need to understand that your major problems will be solved. God is about to solve certain problems that you thought were major. And I keep on telling you, do not magnify your problems, but magnify the God of that is above your problem in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I pray for every single person who's on this broadcast this morning. Lord, every major issue that has been causing them to stress. My God, resolve it now in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord Jesus, settle it, Lord. Whatever is stressing you, settle it. Zodwa, I see you. Thank you for confirming. Every hidden problem that is not visible to you, that has been eating away at your peace. There's something that is off and you can feel that is off, but you don't know, you can't even compact it. You, you can't make it, you, you, you can't capture it into words. The Lord's saying it is settled. My God, as the Lord lives, I want you to call that mountain, whatever it is, my God, my God, God bless you, blessed. That mountain that has been unsettling you, I want you to call that word. Whatever it is, if it is a sickness, name that mountain. Hallelujah. I call you, you mountain of barrenness. I call you, you mountain of fruitful, uh, uh, fruitfulness, of fruitlessness rather. I command you to flee. I will overcome that mountain. I will overcome that mountain of sickness. I will overcome that mountain of blindness. I will overcome that mountain of deafness. I will overcome that mountain, whether it is deafness or blindness by wisdom or whatever fall. My God, whatever mountain of witchcraft, I overcome you today. I overcome the mountain that says I will not make it in the name of Jesus Christ. Talk to me, somebody. It is settled. Can somebody settle your mountain? Settle that mountain that has been giving you challenges in the name of Jesus Christ. If the Shudamite woman got the help that she, she, she needed, my God, I declare and I decree that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, they're getting the help that they need today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your help will definitely come. Your help is here in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you have been deserving, and you've been going around the same mountain. You've been going around the same, same mountain. My God, I don't know what has been denied you, but the Lord is saying, I'm releasing that thing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release, I speak to that mountain of sink, sickness. Is it Darling or Darlington? Darlington or Darling. That heart problem, that heart problem your daughter has right now. Father, I command that mountain to be leveled in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I uproot that lamp in the breast of Noma right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, it is settled. Father God, you came to remove mountains. Father, I speak to every lamp, every cancerous lamp in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Noma, I command healing upon your head right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands. Oh, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, God, settle me now. Settle me now. Settle me now. I need. Everybody believe in God for healing right now. I'm not following the, I'm just following the Holy Ghost. Stretch out your hand towards the screen right now. Norma, put your hand on your breast right now in Jesus' name. I speak to that heart problem, Zodwa. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak alignment. God, who is the best cardiologist ever, 
Father, settle it right now. Let every vein perform as it's supposed to right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let every vein flow as it's supposed to in Jesus' mighty name. Let every vessel flow and perform exactly as you meant it, my God, in Jesus' mighty name. Every mountain of failure struggle, every mountain of, of sickness right now, in Jesus' name, my God. Thank you, Jesus. It is settled. Somebody say it's settled. Somebody say, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, weeping may endure for a night, but joy has come in the morning. No, my, as you are sitting, Karabashoto, in that hospital bed, Karabashoto Konia Masata, I need you to confess it and say it is settled. My God. Every cancer shall be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your doctors as well. In Jesus' mighty name. It is settled. Somebody, it is settled. Cheeto, it is settled. Brenda, it is settled. Those of you on YouTube, it is settled. Oh, season of joy. Come in the name of Jesus. Somebody call a season of joy. This is your season of joy. In Jesus' mighty name. What money cannot buy, he says, my grace will give it to you. Money cannot buy the favor that is coming your way in Jesus' mighty name. It is settled in Jesus' name. Whatever status cannot give you, he says, my mercy will give you. Some of you, you've been looking down on yourself. You're saying, I, Pastor Fortune, I'm a nobody. You, you are a somebody. I don't care what status they've decided to box you in in society. It is settled, Shanley. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zandile, it's time to step up. It's time to step up and to step into those rooms. In Jesus' mighty name. It is settled. I command that throat to be healed in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the fire right now. I send the fire of the Holy Spirit on that throat. Talk to me right now. It is settled. We call forth our season of joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have received. He says, I will reward your seed. And the years of service, some of you have been feeling you've been serving this God, but it feels like you are just listening to testimonies around you. And the Lord saying that it is your season, it is settled, it is your turn to be settled now. Call your mountain and level it right now. Settle your mountain right now. Father God, my God, the Holy Spirit says from now on I will settle you. You will never sow in vain. Whatever seed that you have sown, you will not sow in vain. You will not sow in fallow ground anymore. But the wilderness has been turned into a fruitful ground for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for confirming in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, God bless you in Jumaiza in the name of Jesus Christ. The reward of your service has come. He says you will no longer be weary in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord saying you will not break down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Kanaba Shoto Kodiye Messia. Tato, you will not break down. That's what the Spirit of the Lord says, I must tell you. You will not break down. There's too many things that are coming your way. There's too many ways, things that are, are competing for your attention. These meetings that are happening in your head, he, he says you will not break down. He says breathe and confess the settlement has come. Because if you don't do it, what, this is what I saw, that you are going to collapse. If you allow the committees, the meetings to happen in your head, you will just collapse and be quiet. And your family will be shocked. So he says, I am aware of the storms that are raging. I'm aware of the storms that are about and about around you. He says, quiet the storm. I am here. I'm the God that brings calm to any storm. If you trust me, I've got your back. My God, settle me. Somebody say it again one more time. It is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Oh my God, somebody needs to say, this is my season of remembrance. The Lord is remembering me today. Mm. My God, somebody needs to receive their word of settlement because what I'm doing tonight, you need to be ready. You need to be ready for tonight. Receive your settlement right now in Jesus' mighty name. My God, this is my season of remembrance. Oh my God, I know it. Listen, as I know my name is Fortune, Mary, Gugu, Precious, Karabasata, Kaliyaha, Sataka. As I know myself, this month is my month of settlement. As I cross over into July, I don't know about you. I don't know whether you tapped into that anointing. Karabashata Kaliaba. Favor has come. Your season of remembrance is here. In Jesus' mighty name. After two years, God, you remember Joseph in the prison and you used his gift to deliver him. My God, my God, my God, I ask Lord that you activate every dead gift in our lives this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking to somebody you've been retrenched for two years. You've been retrenched for a full two years. You have even one, you are wondering whether or not your CV is even making sense. You are even wondering whether are your CV is even leaving your email box. Who is that person? You've been sitting at home for two years and you've been saying God does not exist. Or you were tempted to say God does not exist. Who is it? Let me see it for you so that I can try. I want to transition you out of that. Karabashota. It is settled. My God, my father, my father, activate every dead gift, every dead gift that is supposed to speak for you, every dead gift that is supposed to unlock doors of opportunities for you. I prophesy right now, I activate every single dead gift in the name of Jesus Christ by the anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God, Stephanie. I, th th that five years will be turned into the next five years of grace for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Father, I speak encouragement. Every single person that has been uh, retrenched right now, Father, I prophesy, settle them. Settle them. It is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says that when I bring that one word of settlement, it will terminate your shame. Your shame has been terminated. I need somebody who is going to provoke their faith and believe God. Heavenly Father, speak a word of change into my life this morning. Speak a, 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 a word that will change. That will remove shame from my life. Remove shame, Father God. I've been sitting at home too long. Some of you, I hear the Lord saying that you will have to start those businesses. Talk to me, somebody. He's transitioning you. Some of you don't have to beg on jobs anymore. You're going to have to pivot. You're going to have to start businesses. He says, I'm calling you. I'm settling you to become the person who's employing somebody else. My God, I pray for every single person who is going to have a court case. My God, settle them. I ask for your intervention and your mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, Liam, on that court case that you're going through in July. May the Lord settle you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. My God, somebody say, my father, put my shame to shame. Let the Lord shame your shame. Let the Lord shame your shame. Gwen, I also, you are tapping into that anointing. I need you to make sure that your nephew is born again. Make sure that your nephew watches this broadcast of this morning and yesterday's on YouTube, please. And tell him that I said he must pray and wait on the Lord and continue to fast. If he is in, if he's in prison already, I don't know, somehow you need to just get my, maybe like a transcript or something. I don't know if they allow them phones. I don't know, but somehow I need you to visit him, pray along with him. 
tell him that it is settled. He must, that by the will of God, the will of God shall be established in his life in Jesus mighty name. He will have peace that surpasses all understanding. However else that it would happen, whatever will happen, tell him to trust in the Lord. Tell him to trust that the God that is going to see him through whatever happens is there with him. He must ask for the mercy of the Lord. And whatever the decision and the outcome will be, the Lord has got his back either way. Even if he might have to serve a sentence or whatever, but I speak the Lord's favor and I pray for mercy. I pray for mercy. God bless you, Noma. God bless you, Noma. How are you feeling, Noma? My God. I come again, every spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Velmina, you need to stop waiting. While you are waiting, the Lord is saying, I am unlocking other gifts that is inside of you. And you need to charge forward in those gifts while you are waiting. While you are waiting, let me see. This is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. He who observes the clouds shall never sow. And you need to make sure that you step out. Do not wait and wait and you are, you are observing the cloud and you are not going out. This is what he's, he, he's showing me. He's saying you are not going out. You are stuck on one place. You are looking at the one thing only. The Lord wants to put your shame to shame. He wants to expand your horizon. Talk to me, somebody. Some of your lawsuits, some of you are unfortunate online, your lawsuits, Father, you said the Holy Spirit is our advocate. Father, I speak to every single person that has got a court case, whether it's a civil matter, a criminal matter. Father God, may you represent them. Father God, I ask for the unction and the wisdom to rest upon any legal representation that you have, that it will be God that speaks through them in the name of Jesus Christ. May mercy speak for you in Jesus' mighty name. If there's going to be any awards that are against you, my God, Father God, let it be minuscule in Jesus' mighty name. Father, speak for your children, Father God. As long as you have a repentant heart, ask the Lord for favor. My God, it is not right that we have Christians that are having so many court battles. My God, in Jesus' mighty name, my God, every type of shame, my Father put my shame to shame in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what is the medical language for it, Noma, but what I'm saying to you, that the, the, the report will be better than what you expected. It is settled. Hannah was taunted, but received a surprise. Somebody needs to say to Jesus, God, settle me today. Surprise me today. Jesus, put my shame to shame. They could not find the madman at Gadarene after his shameful house. That was shaming him with madness. They could not find him at the cemetery anymore. After Jesus healed him. Somebody who needs the healing of God. You need to say, Jesus, heal me. Every location where you are. Every location that has brought shame into your life. Right now, I uproot you from that location. I relocate you from the position of shame. To a position of glory. To a position of, of joy to a position where God has settled you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every type of shame that has thrived from the days of your grandfathers, from your father's house, from your mother's house, every type of shame that has been thriving and trying to, 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 to thrive in your life right now, I break it in Jesus' mighty name. It will not thrive in your generation. It will not thrive in the generations that are to follow you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is shaming your shame. Somebody shout it one more time. It is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying, I'm activating your original purpose. Oh, I hear restoration of ministry. I hear acceleration to you, Pastor Martha. I hear restoration of ministry. I hear acceleration to you, Pastor Martha. It is settled in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. You are a grown woman. You are qualified to have a child within the marriage. My God, thank you for settling. That barrenness is removed in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a man. You are of age to get married. Father God, may they receive marital settlement in the name of Jesus Christ. May God give you the provision to provide for your family in Jesus' mighty name. You are a father. You need to provide for your children. My God, I thank you, Lord, that it is settled. That maintenance for those children shall be there in Jesus' mighty name. No child shall lack. I curse the power of delay in your life in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord is going to settle you this morning. You will walk in your original purpose from this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, I saw it. Yes, your maintenance case. Yes, I saw it. Mm. The Lord is settling it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God. Somebody declare my future will not fail. My future will not fail. The Lord will settle me. My future will not fail. He says, I will not only give you a testimony. I will make you a testimony. Somebody declare it with me. I am a testimony. I will not only receive a testimony, but I am a testimony. He's going to make you a testimony. Come on, Janelle. He's going to make you a testimony. Sophie, your future will not fail in Jesus' mighty name. Wanda, you will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mini, you are a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Victorious, you are a winner and you are a testimony. My God, I see you. Zusa, you are a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Risehofato, he says, I will make you a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. I am a testimony myself. A letter, you are a testimony in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will last beyond your generation. My God, your testimony shall be sustained beyond your generation. A letter, that is your word in Jesus' mighty name. Your future will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When Peter launched his net, he needed other people's boats. May, may you have the same kind of blessings that will over, overwhelm you, that you will have to borrow storehouses of other people to put what God is releasing to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, chakadi yama soto koni yama sata kani yama soto koni ya ha. Rakori yama sondo ni yama hala sata kani yama sanda. Reshiko na masoto koni yama sata. Restoration for you, Temba, in the name of Jesus Christ. Makori yama sondo ni yama sata kani yama sonda kani yama ha sata kani yama. Roshiko na maha sata kani yama sonda. The Lord will give you a new house. Makari yama sonda li yama sonda ni yama la 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 soto koni ya. Yes, Temba. He will settle you. He will settle you, and you're coming back stronger. Ask him to settle you exactly what you want, and be specific. I see greatness coming back to you. There's an oncoming breakthrough of greatness that is coming your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on, talk to me. I see those testimonies. Karaba Shota Kaliyama Soto, victorious mom. God is going to cancel those debts in Jesus' mighty name, and you will not have an appetite to create any further debt in Jesus' mighty name. From today, are you you are being settled? My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for Mom Kathy in Jesus' mighty name. That health is settled in Jesus' mighty name. That promotion is settled in Jesus' mighty name. I need you to... Push in the spirit, guys. It is possible. It is possible. I decree that your testimony will be so great that anyone that hears it will be, will be having belief issues. My God, my Korea Masata Kadia Basata Kalia Basoto Korea Basata Kadia. It is settled. 
You will never be the same again. It is settled. You will never be the same again. Somebody shout again to the Lord and say, Lord, settle me. Lord, surprise me. Surprise my friends. Surprise my family. Surprise my enemies. Surprise me by this time next year. I will not be able to contain the fullness of what you are doing in my life. The fullness of what you are releasing in our lives right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the Lord lives, I decree and I declare that your home will be settled. You will never be the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. That permanent there will be a permanent addition. The Lord says that that will not be stripped away. In the name of Jesus Christ, your house is being paid up cash in the name of Jesus Christ. Your joy that is permanent, you are being settled in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, settle me today in such a way that my today will be better than my yesterday. My tomorrow will be fantabulous in the name of Jesus Christ. Settle me today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my God, it's not a function of how bad it has been. It's got very little to do with your story and your history. It's got everything to do with divine intervention that you're calling for forth this morning. My God, somebody call on the divine intervention right now. Hey, I will shout out to the Lord. I will shout it out on the mountaintop. I will shout it out to anybody who wants to hear. The Lord lives and he's the one who's going to intervene in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Shout it out loud on the mountaintop. It is settled. It is settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout it out on the mountaintop. Len, may the Lord increase you in your ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, I decree, and I declare it for you. In Jesus' mighty name, revelatory power, knowledge, in Jesus' mighty name, may you receive and. Uh, 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 revelations like never before may the spirit of prophecy expand in your in your ministry like never before as you increase your prayer life the lord is saying you you are going to burst forth in your intercession and he's going to increase you and he's going to surprise you len he says don't doubt yourself just go out there as you open my mouth your mouth he says i will fill it it's not to you. It's not you who will speak. I learned a long time ago not to be apologetic. And I will say whatever it is that comes into my spirit. Yes, Pastor Martha. We're going to do what the Lord has called us to do. I'm not the one that heals. It is him that heals. It's him that gets the glory. I'm just a vessel. I just say what, he's, what he says. I say what, he, what I hear. What you do with your word is up to you. What you do with your prophetic word, whether you water it or not, it's up to you. If you receive it, you receive it and you believe it and you don't doubt and that it will come into manifestation. So your job is done. Evangelist Len, your job is done. My God, thank you, Jesus. Saul was an ordinary guy on the streets until God set him up and settled him. Somebody say, God, set me up, set me up, God, set me up and settle me. In the name of Jesus Christ. How am I doing for time? I'm still good. If you are struggling and you need divine settlement, I need you to call the God of breakthrough, the God of settlement who says, I will settle you. I am the God of all grace after all. I am the one that will settle you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare that you will receive divine settlement today in Jesus' mighty name. And that divine settlement will last you for the rest of your life. And it will bring long-lasting results in Jesus' mighty name. Nobody is going to take it away in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the ordination and the anointing of settlement in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The same way Samuel was anointed. My God, my Kore, Samuel anointed. Korea Sonda, Kaliaba Sonda. The Lord is anointing you as well. Hallelujah. The Lord is anointing you with fresh oil and is going to settle you in Jesus' mighty name. He's settling you into a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Len, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. He's going to empower you and teach you all things that you need to do. He is saying, I'm settling you into a new beginning. He's saying, I'm closing the door of where you have been. You are walking out of that situation. You are walking out of that bad relationship. Mm. 
There's a lady called Lily. You are coming out. You are coming out of that abusive relationship. You are coming out of that abusive relationship. God settle me. The God of all grace is settling you. Ask him for a divine intervention from, from today. You are going to delete all the years that were wasted in Jesus' mighty name. You are deleting all the years that you are irrelevant in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Father, my God, we raise this prayer today, right now. Right now, declare with me and say, I will not be irrelevant. I will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not be irrelevant. The Lord is going to settle me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it will take, whatever it will take irrespective of your background in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is anointing you for a fresh purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is saying you are going to be settled in Jesus mighty name my God my God mm. you will never be rele irrelevant Steph in Jesus mighty name ah kariaba sonda diamaso toko diaba all forms of rejection that have followed you up until now. I want you to shout and say, choose me, Lord. Those of you who have been rejected, I want you to shout it out in the comment section and say, choose me. Choose me, Lord. Choose me. Choose me, Lord. They might not have seen the value of me. They might not have chosen me, but I know, God, you are going to choose me. I love those of you who are here because you, you are being rooted. There's no way the enemy is going to steal this word from you. My God, I need people who are saying, I'm tired of receiving a prophetic word and I just go off and I dash off, but I'm going to take this word and I'm going to nurture it. I'm going to work it and it's going to come to pass. Choose me, Lord. After Saul was anointed by Samuel, my God, he was taken from the back and was brought to the front i want you to see yourself moving from the back place to the front place in the name of jesus christ promote me lord who is that person gundo i speak promotion in your life in jesus mighty name choose me lord choose me lord for that promotion in the workplace and Sander, let them choose you in jesus mighty name i prophesy and i declare elsie as you want him he wants you and he's saying he's choosing you my god wilder he's choosing you my God, blessed Rose, he's choosing you. He's elevating you. Blessed Rose, you are already elevated, but the Lord is saying there is more. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is more. My God, the Lord is going to give you specific guidance. Some of you who are here, my God, God is a God of specifics. When you leave me today, you will meet two men near Rachel's tomb. At Zelza, in the territory of Benjamin, they will tell you the good news. This morning you have come to meet your good news in the name of Jesus Christ. The donkeys that you have been looking for have been found. I don't know what you have been looking for, but the Lord says they have been found. That thing has been found. That thing that you have been looking for has been looking for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak against the stronghold of confusion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To every single person that is listening to the sound of my voice, I prophesy. I command the spirit of confusion to leave you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that the confusion is not your DNA. I uproot it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Confusion is not in the image of God. You are made in the image and likeness of God. I command that confusion to leave you right now. It is being removed in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to be altered permanently by the word that you have been waiting for. And that word, it is settled. My God, when you leave here today without compromising, you will receive the good news. I prophesy in the next 24 hours, you will receive the good news that you have been waiting for in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not compromise anymore. You will live out the principles of what God says. And you will be guaranteed, I'm telling you, in 24 hours. My God. I need somebody who says, when I leave this broadcast today, I will find that missing puzzle. That missing puzzle in my life, that missing puzzle in my destiny, I will find it. From today, I destroy the covenant of stronghold of failure on your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is the I declare and I decree that failure has been obliterated in your life. You have no option but to win in Jesus' mighty name. 
I, re I loose you. I release you from covenants of failure. In Jesus' mighty name, I declare and I decree that Kisiho, you will not fail in Jesus' mighty name. Oh yes, you will find your way forward and you will find your way into your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lelo, in Jesus' mighty name. My God, the power that will give you the understanding, the wisdom that will guide you into your destiny, I release it now in Jesus' mighty name. Tendani, I release the wisdom of God in your life, the wisdom that will release you into your destiny that has been God-ordained in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God, my God, my God. Father, wherever the fish is, wherever that house is, wherever that car, wherever that job is, Lord, bring me to my rest. Somebody shout it in the comment section and say, bring me to my rest. Bring me to my rest. Bring me to my rest. Bring me to my rest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lead me to my rest. Oh, Karabashata Kadiaba. Lead me to my rest so that I stop struggling. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give me enough. Not just enough to sort out me and my family, oh God. Not just enough to sort out my family and myself. But give me enough to sort out even my friends. To sort out even my church. Thank you, God bless you, Mabato. Give me enough to sort out the kingdom of God. To do the work of the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. Give me more than enough. Somebody say, give me more than enough. Thank you, Jesus. I declare and I decree you will recover all. The donkeys that you have been looking for have been found too strong. God bless you. You will not only recover, but you will recover all, every single thing. Almighty God, settle us this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bring me to my rest, Jesus. Father, as we push in the spirit, my God. Fill my mouth with your words, O oh God. Jesus forgave the sin of the crippled man that was brought to the roof. I don't know which entrance you need to use, whether you're coming in through the roof or you're coming in through the door, but your healing is now. Your settlement is now in the name of Jesus Christ. I need you to press through the crowd. The Lord is saying, you will push through the crowd and I will settle you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever you have not seen before is going to be done for you. The Lord is going to break every protocol for you in the name of Jesus Christ. He says what has not been done will be done for you in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, in whatever way that we may have contributed to even our situations, Father, we ask for mercy, we repent, and we ask you for, Lord, that you do it for us. Settle us, O oh God. Father, we ask that our divine helpers come through quickly and settle us in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, you will begin to meet your divine helpers who will settle you. From today, I prophesy a proper wife, a proper husband that is meant for you, that will help you to discover your destiny and to fulfill your destiny and calling in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, send your help now. Send your help now in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever you have lost, come on, let's pray. Uncommon manifestation. I speak uncommon manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I speak uncommon manifestation and experiences in Jesus' mighty name. When God helps a man, you will have supernatural experiences. I want you to call for those supernatural experiences into your space right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I prophesy supernatural experiences in Michelle's life in Jesus' mighty name. My God, experiences that none of your family members have ever even discovered in Jesus' mighty name. My God, you have met your word today. Thank you, Jesus. When the Lord finishes with you, it will be uncommon favor and uncommon breakthrough all around. In Jesus' mighty name. Every good thing, every great experience is coming your way in Jesus' mighty name. Every good thing, every great experience is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
I speak spiritual favor to you in Jesus' mighty name. Every great experience in your physical life, in your emotional life, exclusively. You will be able to persevere and you will be able to, to, to win. I need somebody who's saying it is my turn, Pastor Fortune. And as you are typing, it is my turn. I'm waiting for the Spirit of the Lord to tell me what, what, what is your turn. My God, I need people who are pushing through for uncommon manifestation now. In Jesus' mighty name, as we close. Lord, take control of me right now. Take my all. Take it, Lord. Take everything that is in us, oh God. It is my turn. Create a space for me to manifest in the name of Jesus Christ. You have the freedom to express your plans and your dreams in me, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Like your word says, my God, after these things happen, do whatever you think is right, oh God. God, help me. Do whatever you think it is right in Jesus' mighty name. And this one. There's somebody called Andiswa. I hear the Lord saying the doors of travel are open for you. After now, he says that the doors of traveling are open for you. I don't know what way you have been intending to relocate to, but the Lord is saying the doors of traveling are open to you. In Jesus' mighty name, my God, release the divine testament. Who is saying it's my turn? Take control. Come on, tell him what you are looking for. Tell him what you are looking for. Prophesy what you are looking for. What is supposed to turn around to give you that joy, to, to give you, to make you that testimony? What is it? State it in the comment section. State it right now. Thank you, Jesus. Your options are no longer limited. Your options are open. From now on, you will have options in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for divine settlement. My God, my God, my God, my God. Thank you for confirming that relocation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Nancy, go and, 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 and make sure your passport is up to date in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to that addiction in Jesus' mighty name. That alcohol addiction, that drug addiction, Zoe, I prophesy a restoration of your marriage in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, Makoraba Shotakaliyama Sotokodiaba, Asatakariaba. Roje gende ya masoto kodi ya masata kali ya masoto kuri ya baha rakosi ono do 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 boshia. Gwen, I prophesy every immigration application that you will submit. I prophesy favor on those applications in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that every venture that you will plant in this land where you are currently. The land shall respond to you. The land shall be fruitful for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, I thank you. Nozugo, your marriage shall be sweet. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, thank you for that testimony. Verification passed. Exams passed. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, Elysia Rose, in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy and I decree and I declare. Bushali, I come against the spirit of diabetes in your life, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mark Kledi. Father, I speak a... A barrage of customers into that business. There will be no shortfalls. There will never be a day where you are not able to pay salaries. In Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will restore you. In Jesus' mighty name. Z, I prophesy your house application shall be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Every single form of pain is removed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we reject the spirit of slavery. Come on, talk to me. We reject the spirit of slavery. Tandy, I speak to your bloodline. I speak to your bloodline. I speak to the foundation that have been resisting your, your marital settlement. I speak to the bloodline. Oh my God, this is too heavy to say. I'm going to generalize this and this is going to make sense. I'm not going to call a name, but there's one of the names that I've already called. There was an exchange of blood that was made and that blood exchange had to do with your female cycle. You put it somewhere and it went missing before you could throw it away. And Father, right now, I go right now to where it has been taken to right now. I am in that shrine. Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, the God that answers by fire, I uproot every single, every single menstrual blood drop that has been used to exchange her destiny for a marital settlement. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak total restoration, my God. This was actually done even by a family member, one of your relatives. Rosha Kaliba Soto Korea Masunda. If 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 this thing that I'm saying to you resonates with you for your confidentiality, you don't even need to say your name. But I want you to say this is me. I speak against every form of cervical cancer in the name of Jesus Christ. Miss Peak, may you have a clean report in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever the diagnosis and whatever, the, whatever, there is no abnormality that cannot be normalized by God in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to every menstrual pad, whatever it is. You know it went missing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I know some of these things may be too heavy for some of you. I, I don't know, maybe you've never heard of it, but I know that my Trinidad and Tobago people, they understand me. My Africa people, they understand me. Because what I'm seeing, it's not even just one person. My God, there will be no spirit of fear. And this is not meant to even plant that fear, right? You shouldn't fear. We just need to uproot it and we realign you. Because some of you, you are actually being fought. Even in your marriage. I see there's a couple. You caught um, adultery. There was Your husband committed adultery, but this happened on your marital bed. It was Your marital bed was defiled. But there was something that was done on that bed. And that is the reason why you guys are constantly fighting. Even though that relationship has stopped, you are still having issues in your marriage. Dumaiza, sometimes it's so heavy. Because sometimes there's men as well at the same time. But maybe it is for the benefit that they understand that these things happen. And they understand the type of manipulations that happen in the background. God bless you, Spusiso. God bless you. I give all glory to God. I just need to, I need to free you. Be watchful. Some of you, there's a caution to be even be watchful. Even in your household. You've got some helpers that are not very, that they don't have good motives. You need to understand that the sacredness of marriage is always being attacked. Thank you, Jesus. Blessings, family. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Guys, I'm trying to cons con con conserve, is it conserve my strength for, for later because I know we are stretching from 12 midnight. So I might not be able to get to everybody today. I just said as I'm seeing it 
for those that have prophesied that by the spirit of the living God that you have received your word, it is settled in Jesus' mighty name. Please make sure you are following the account where you are seeing me from. Those of you who are on Facebook and YouTube, you will receive a happy marriage in Jesus' mighty name. My God, my God, my God. Father, thank you for healing Tsakhofato's baby in Jesus' mighty name. Please make sure you follow me on YouTube. My name is Fortunel online on all social media handles. Make sure you are following and turning on this notification bell. If you're on Mara Official, please follow Fortunel online as well on TikTok. Pass the fortune underneath. It's written Fortune L with the word L in the middle online. And you follow on YouTube, you can watch the replays. Make sure you are here at midnight tonight from this right now in south africa it's it's quarter past it's 15 minutes after six so at midnight from now on synchronize your time i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna create an event so that you can also align it with your calendar my god thank you jesus oh god thank you for confirming okay blessing family in the name of jesus can you give me your surname of your family please give me the surname of your family let me let me let me speak to you in the spirit realm there Give me the surname, your surname. Give me your surname. Blessing family. Your nickname is Blessing Family. I need to address the issue of drugs in your family. I need to address the issue of, 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 of the fighting that's happening. I need your surname. My God. Sometimes when I use... I've, I've taught on, on the power of a name and, and, and what your name means in the spirit realm. So I need to speak to the right person. Some of these nicknames are a bit tricky. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That lady disappeared. Blessing family. Blessing family. Okay. Father, locate, locate, locate. Let the Holy Spirit locate, locate that family in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I uproot. I, I didn't see your surname, my sweetie. I see you are saying I'm here, but I'm waiting for your surname. I need you to type your surname because I want to call it in the spirit realm. I want to deal with any demonic influences. I need to deal with the principalities that are orchestrating that there's too much commotion in your family there. Nyamir, did I pronounce it right? Nyamir, okay. Nyamir, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as I pray for this family, oh God, and as I uproot every drug addiction in the name of Jesus Christ in that family, Father, I, I, I speak to unity and peace in that family. My God, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray, Lord, for peace, my God. I pray for unity. Father God, let there be a restoration in that marriage, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And everybody who is tapping in, if you are struggling with an issue of drug addiction, addiction in your families right now in the mighty name of jesus christ i need you to tap into that prayer father settle that family right now father we speak to that root of addiction my god father let it be uprooted my god we are uprooted right from the foundations in the mighty name of jesus christ it stops right here in jesus mighty name thank you jesus father we declare and we decree that we 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 we, we release a breakthrough for Iris' husband in Jesus' name. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection, I uproot you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy promotion. Gratefulness, I prophesy promotion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, Frida, thank you so much for confirming. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to that addiction. Lord, let them develop a, 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 a repulsion. Anytime, Father, I uproot them even from the, from the ungodly associations that keep on pulling them in that direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God bless you, Vanessa. I speak promotion to you, Steph. I command alcohol addiction out of your life, Pastor Martha. Out of the life of your family in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. And godly associations. Yes, Pastor Martha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are settled. You will get married this year. For as long as you take this word and you run with it, 
and you prophesy to yourself as well and declare it, I am settled. Father, I speak marital settlement in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus, who's here? I speak all round settlement. All round settlement. All round settlement. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Adrian family. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. Has, uh, your husband, your alcohol addiction, yes. He's being freed in Jesus' mighty name. Some of you, you don't have names on, 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 on TikTok, but it is well. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we speak to Nozugo's family. We uproot every form of drug addiction, alcohol addiction. My God, in Jesus' mighty name, let it stop right now. We command it to break in Jesus' name. We command it to break right now. We stand in agreement with you right now. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you, Preston. Thank you for those who are joining my team. Thank you so much. Thank you those who are subscribing. Thank you those who are gifting as well in Jesus' name. Every single person that is in this place, may the Lord enlarge your territory in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray. I see that there's a lot of marital people. Who wants to get married here? Let me just ask for grace from the Holy Spirit. Let me speak a word. Who's getting married this year? Who wants marital settlement? Who's tired of being uh, toyed around with? Who's tired of rejection? Who's tired of being dumped? Who's saying, I need marital settlement. I need to know. Pastor, I need to know that I'm in a relationship with the right person. Pastor, I need you to uproot any person who's not, who's wasting my time. Some of you, you have been dating for three, four years, five years, and the person has not proposed. It's time to leave. It's time to bounce and move on. My God. Okay, I see it. Thank you. Talk to me. Somebody say, God, settle me maritally in Jesus' mighty name. Facebook, anybody who wants marital settlement. YouTube, anybody wanting marital settlement. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray any power that is magnetizing the wrong partners in their life. That power is broken in Jesus' mighty name. I prophesy and I did 10 years, my God. 10 years in that relationship. User 2142. My God, I uproot you from any wrong person. You know what you need to do in Jesus' mighty name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, anything that is magnetizing them to the wrong people who are wasting their time, and we will not marry them. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I uproot them from it in Jesus' name. By the power in the blood of Jesus that has been discouraging that person to propose you, right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare and I decree, I remove every evil character that is discouraging that person from proposing you. May they see you in a different light in Jesus' mighty name. My God. Rambima, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, seven years is too long to be, to be in that relationship and not being settled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Rambina, may the will of the Lord be done. May the will of the Lord be done. Rambina, in the next week, in the next one week, did you hear? I'm giving you seven days to seek the Lord's face and to receive the peace that you need. You know that it's time to move on. Rambina, talk to me. I speak to any evil manipulation that is making you not to break through your marital settlement. Some of you, there's evil things that have been done. My God. Sometimes English limits me from, from saying the things, some of the things that have been done. My God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, they're coming too fast. Hey! Cheers! I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Cheers! Cheers! Evil... Evil manipulation, my darling. There's a curse that was spoken. There's a curse that was performed. 
And that is why he, he has suddenly done a roundabout turn. That's why he left. You are dealing with an evil manipulation. Cheers. 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 This thing was done at your gate. Yes, pleasure. If you are worried, if that dream is unsettling you, you need to fight it. Make sure you are there at midnight tonight. We're gonna we're gonna deal with that. There's the, the at your gates when you stepped out, cheers. The last time you saw him, you thought there was water at the gate. It was not water, it was urine. It was urine. I, I'm, I, is that how you pronounce urine? My God, thank you for deliverance in Jesus' mighty name. Jude girl, seven years. Anybody who's been in that relationship, my God, two years, seven years, five years, in the next one week. If there's anything you will do for yourself, you need to fast and pray and ask the Lord. I don't want to tell you because the Lord is already telling you that this thing is not going anywhere. This is how you, if you want to stay the way you are, if you want to do, uh, let me not say this in Africans, because last time I used the, uh, one of the languages in South Africa, somebody said it sounded like I was saying, saying, saying a, a swear word. But if you are just cohabiting, my God, my God, my Tandy, I recovered that engagement ring from the altar where they went and dedicated it in the name of Jesus Christ. And that engagement ring, I melted. I sent the Holy Spirit fire to melt it. And as it melts right now, you are starting again from fresh. The Lord is saying, I'm settling you for a new beginning. And as you are being settled for a new beginning, you're going to approach your relationships in a different way. Because yes, the Lord had confirmed to you that it was a curse that was done on that ring, on that engagement ring. And that, uh, that is what has sent you into a spiral that it doesn't last. It doesn't last. They divorce, they move out, they start, and it's like you are being damned repeatedly. Frida, I prophesy. Give me your son's name. He will vomit it. Whatever they gave him to eat, he will vomit it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Patsy. You are settling into your new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Guys, I'm closing in four minutes because I need to go and pray and wait on the Lord for what he's going to do tonight at midnight. Is that okay with you guys? So if you will, you're willing to come back tonight at 12 midnight, let's waste our wasters. Is that okay? So those of you who are following me, you can come and follow me on Fortunal Online. You can uh, send me a message on Instagram. Send me your prayer requests. Um, you can also send me via email. My moderators, if you're still here, please make sure that you send through um, the prayer requests to that email address. I believe it's 316 Life Media. Oh, now my phone is off now. Tabi, you need to rebuke that dream of death in Jesus' name. Please, Fistos, come back at midnight. I need you to go and fast with me the whole day today. You can break by six. Those of you who have got strength to continue, you can continue until we meet at midnight. Okay? So let's, let's make sure we are pushing in the spirit. I will need to go off because otherwise I don't want to speak things out of the flesh. I need to go spend time and, and meditate. Thank you, Jesus. Father, the blood of Jesus is speaking to those marital destinies in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will settle you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Nadine says, okay, bye. 12 midnight, my darlings, and tomorrow, 5 a.m., remember, we are back here. Please make sure you give me a follow and you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss me when I next come online, okay? Father, I thank you for Nontobega's um, mother's healing in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for healing the marriage for Sispel. 
to spell in Jesus' mighty name, midnight South African time. Yes, midnight South African time as we cross over into Saturday. Thank you, Jesus. I'm live every single day of the week at 5 a.m. as well. So we, we are going to have our midnight session for three hours. We break for one hour. Um, that would be two hours if we break by three. So normally I just let whatever the Holy Spirit says, but we, we are scheduled to bake by 3 a.m. And then we are back at 5 a.m. We do our morning um, protocol, breaking prayers and, and, and teaching of the word. God bless you guys. I love you very much. Um, so be there. Be there, guys. Sleep. How many years have you been sleeping? And if things are not changing, you need to come and war in the spirit. Our spiritual warfare session is to tonight at 12 midnight. Let me say goodbye to the people on Facebook and on YouTube. You are welcome to jump on, on uh, TikTok as I say the goodbyes right now. I'll see you guys at midnight. Um, I'm not quite sure. Those of you on the the whatsapp group you will receive a message i think apostle might be postponing the 10 p.m so that we can go to 12 midnight but please let's just make sure that you are keeping track with the announcements on the whatsapp group if you want to join my whatsapp group you go to my videos that are pinned there is a, a barcode there screenshot it take it and you will be in the whatsapp group so um unless otherwise just make sure you turn on your notification bell apostle i don't know if you are still listening to me I've heard that name in the spirit before. Father in Jesus mighty name. I pray for favor in Jesus name. God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Please make sure you check on the WhatsApp announcements. Okay. Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, do the comments if you want to give on the youtube videos you are more than welcome to may god settle you in jesus mighty name i love you it is your time to testify more grace